So all my both moms out there, this one's for you. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanna to talk about a topic that's been very prevalent in my life since I've added more and more to my plate and it's something I know a lot of you guys can relate to, which is overwhelm. Especially all of my boss moms who are in my boat, raising a family, working full time, and building an online business. We wear a lot of hats and thinking about all there is to do can just leave you feeling so overwhelmed and just like you can't handle everything. But believe it or not, overwhelm is a choice and a habit. Yes, I said it and yes, I know some of you are giving me dirty looks to the screen right now. I see you. Overwhelm is a mindset we choose to be in because no matter what we have going on, no matter how much we have on our plates, we don't have to choose to be stressed out about it. Because when you're in a state of overwhelm, you can't take action and being in that paralysis mode is just the worst thing. We don't have time for it. Easier said than done. I know, I know because I go through it. But you know I love sharing tips and strategies that make my life easier in the hopes that it will help you out as well. Keep in mind though that these tips are more about mindset than strategy because I believe without the right mindset, there's no use in planning or strategizing because it's not going to be sustainable. So if you want to learn how I manage overwhelm, just keep on watching. But before you do that, if you haven't already subscribed, please be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell down below so you're notified every time I upload a video. So without further ado, let's get into my tips. So how are you guys feeling my little setup and background I have going on here? I'm actually on my bed and I didn't plan to film on my bed, but I just felt like this topic called for it. You know, I have my coffee right here with me. Look how cute my little mug is, by the way. Um, and I just wanted to have a chit chat. I didn't want it, this video to seem like I'm just kind of like telling you what to do. Okay, go on and do it because I know that this is a topic that's very, very important. It's, it's a topic that's very common and it's uh, something that we all struggle with so today we're just gonna chill we're gonna let go of any stress or overwhelm that we're feeling and we're just gonna have a girls chat so my first tip on dealing with overwhelm is gratitude whenever i'm feeling super stressed or super overwhelmed i know that i haven't been spending enough time on gratitude instead of getting stressed over your to-do list and everything that has to get done Reframe your mind and remember that those are things that you get to do. You get to raise a beautiful family. You get to go to work and provide for them. And that same job is funding the business you get to grow with that dream you get to accomplish. See what I mean? The same to-dos, but now your focus has shifted from viewing them as stresses to viewing them as blessings. You decide how you deal with things, how you react to things. The more you focus on feelings of positivity, peace of mindfulness the less reactive stressed out of control you'll feel you are the master of yourself and your mind use that power to your benefit tip number two is focus uh, focus I have quite the relationship with focus half the time focus gets annoyed with me I'm not gonna lie I'm sure you're all aware of the importance that's put on focus and that's because there is nothing that compares to giving your 100% to whatever it is that you're doing you're in the zone, you're focused, you're present in the moment, and things get done way more quickly, way more effectively than if you try to do multiple things at once. Where we tend to get stuck is when we put that focus on the big picture. We need the big picture for inspiration, for guidance. Wheel it back in though because what we don't need is for that big picture thinking to keep us from taking small, consistent action. Take that pressure off of you and just Think about what has to get done today to move you forward in your business, in your life, and do that. You can't possibly do everything at the same time, so stop even thinking about it. Strive for progress, not perfection. Let's say you're thinking of starting a YouTube channel. As you know, or maybe you don't know, there is a lot that goes into maintaining a YouTube channel and thinking about it all could really stop you from wanting to pursue it. Whereas if you break it down, if you just focus on what needs to be done today, today, that's it, to move you forward, which is setting up an account, then 
that's more doable, more bearable to even think about. And my third and final tip is counterbalance. I am all about planning, focus, and consistency. Cannot go wrong with that formula and you have no choice but to move forward following that. I do all of these things but I don't do them all the time. You are never going to have balance. This is like a controversial subject, I know. But what I mean when I say you're never going to have balance is you're never going to be able to do everything with equal effort. We all know life is not a linear path. There are things that come up in our day to day that we just can't plan for. Sometimes your family is going to need you a little more than usual. Sometimes your business is going to need you a little more than usual. Sometimes your own self care is what needs your attention right now. It's okay to shift from the plan. You don't have to freak out about every single little thing that happens because guess what? There is always something happening. That's life. You can either remain calm amongst the chaos or you can choose to freak out again and again and again. But ask yourself, is that serving you? Is that making things any better? Work hard, of course, but also have compassion for yourself. So if that means that you need help, communicate that with your support system. Listen to your body, meditate, walk, rest. So those are my three tips for dealing with overwhelm. I really hope you found this video helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you did and let me know in the comments below what resonated with you the most, what you feel you need to work on a little bit more, and also let me know your tips for dealing with overwhelm. I would love to know and I know others would as well. And remember this, life is full of priorities, full of challenges and chaos sometimes, but being able to remain calm amongst the chaos and just keep moving forward is really the key to success. Tell yourself, I've got this. I can handle this because you can. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.